Hi, my name is Helge Maus from Pixel Train. This time only a short quick tip because of a client's question. This time we want to talk about the workflow of bringing OBJs with materials into Houdini. For this example, I've generated here a polygon mesh inside of Cinema 4D and I added two materials to it. You see my materials are named blue and red. And I want to deliver exactly this assignment to Houdini. For this, I select here my cube, go to File, Export OBJ, and I save it here inside of my Projects folder. And I have to make sure here in this next dialog that the material assignment is exported here. So Export Materials is on, I click on OK, and that's it. Now we can switch over to Houdini, and we generate here an empty container. And if you dive into the container, this time we use the file node here. Normally we have here the default.geo import here, but you can import nearly all kind of meshes here inside of Houdini. You see this here is a whole bunch of different file formats you can use here and also OBJs. So if you select now this here, you see you get a huge mesh inside of Houdini at this point. The reason for this is that Cinema 3D works in centimeters by default, Houdini in meters, and you get a one-to-one -one mapping, and so your object is too big here. So let us add with a transform node scalement of 0 0.01, so that we are back in Cinema 4D scale. And now comes the question, where are my materials? For adding materials, we normally have the shop or the slash mat context, but if you go into these two contexts, you see neither in shop nor here in mat, we have a material assignment. So where is it? If you take a closer look into the geometry of this object here through the geometry spreadsheet, you will find here under the primitives where you normally have the Houdini material assignment also, that there is a path on every primitive to a shop material and here you have shop blue and shop red. These are exactly the names from your Cinema 4D Maya file or whatever you had. So you can now add these shaders to the shop context but to be more flexible I tend to make groups here now from this geometry and then I assign like I do in all other files this through a group. So how to make a group of this? You can add a group node here. And inside of the group, let us name this group red so that we understand what's going on. And inside also red underscore MTL for materials. So I know that this group is meant to work in the materials. You see now that everything is selected. What we want is we only want to select these three primitives here. And this is something we can do with the vec statement here in the base group. You want to have an attribute with the name shop underscore material path. So at shop underscore material path. And we want to compare this with a string. So make a double equal sign. This is important so that you compare and not assign something and you compare it with the path. So slash shop slash red with a capital R. And in the moment you press enter, this statement here now generates a group, like you see here, for only the red ones. And now you can have another group here. This here will be blue. And we only have to change here the statement so that the material name here fits exactly this here. And now you can work like you have modeled this here inside of Houdini. So to make an example, I take here a color node, for example, and say, please show me red only on the red group. And we have one thing to do here. We have to change the name here to blue. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And really important, if it looks a little bit strange like this here, the reason for this is that the group normally shoots to points, you see here. And now we get the colors here on points. So we want to have them only on primitives. So this is the way you address this now. You can make here 
the blue one also get rid of this and say show me the blue ones okay and normally you assign materials to the material node here and here a little quick tip for the people who don't like this way of making groups first you can use this statement here this vex statement here also directly inside here of the group field inside of the material assignment this also works but make sure that you don't have spaces here so this is a statement and if you have here a space like this here it will not work because this here breaks the statement so you have to make sure that it's in one line without any spaces i hope this helps if you now change your Cinema 4D geometry, it still works. You only have to make sure that this name here of the material still fits. Yeah, my name is Helga Maus from Pixel Train. See you again later.